Hello, Women United Ministry. This is Minister Johnson. This is just a quick Bible study pop-up for you all. The, the t subject we're going to be talking about for the next few weeks is called A Woman of Purpose, A Woman of Purpose and Power by Dr. Myers Morong. So we're going to go ahead and read the devotion and get into the scriptures. We'll be reading Psalms 51 verse 13, 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 and 11. God's good idea. God designed a woman not as an afterthought, but as a narrow part of his plan of creation. He created her in his love and with particular care. Her uniqueness is a reflection of God's purpose and design for her. Do you understand how special you are? Adam has not even imagined a woman, but God had her particularly in mind. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, the Lord said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him, which is the New International Version. In essence, Adam was fumbling around in the bushes, thinking up animals' names, seeing verses 19 and 20. And God said, This is not good. This man needs help. So it, it was God who said that the man need a woman you are you are god's very good idea and his unique creation god's mind thought of you and god's spirit brought you into being you are the result of his ideas that you make you're very valuable to him god specific place the woman in the garden of eden along with the man in genesis chapter 3 verse 8 we read that god walked in the garden in the cool of the day in order to meet with adam and eve the garden represents humility relationship with god and the place of fellowship you can't be the kind of woman you are supposed to be if you are outside of god any more than a man can be anything outside of god any woman who is outside of the relationship with the lord is a dangerous woman just as a man who is outside of the relationship with the lord is dangerous you can be who you were created to be Fulfill the purpose you were meant to fulfill only as long as you remain in the garden of fellowship with God. Therefore, you can't become all the people intent for you as a woman of purpose and power unless you are continuing in fellowship with him. Filled with his spirit, learning his will, and obeying his word. Many women today are living, living godly lives, not living godly lives. They have rebelled against God's plan. They are living outside the garden in the wilderness. If, if this describes you, return to the garden of fellowship with God today. Your heavenly father is waiting for you. Thoughts. A woman cannot fully fulfill her purpose unless she is in a relationship with God. Psalms 51 have mercy on me, O God, and to, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion. Blow out my transgression, wash away my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgression and my sin is always before me. Against you and you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verification and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinned at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desire faithfulness even in the wombs. You taught me wisdom in the secret places. Cleanse me with wholesome, and I will be snow. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sin, and blow out my inequity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, a renewal stir fast within me. Do not do not cast me from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and grant me a willing spirit to subdue me. Then I will teach transgressors your way, so that sinners will turn back to you. All right, we're reading in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 and 11. His divine power has given us everything we needed for godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Through these he has given us his very great and precious promise so that through them you may participate in the divine nature having escaped the corporates in the world caused by evil desires. For this very reason, every Excuse me. Make every effect to add to your faithful goodness and goodness and knowledge and to knowledge of self-control and to self-control preserve and to preserve godliness and to godliness mutual affliction to mutual affliction love. For if you possess these qualities in increasing measures, they will keep you from being infective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. But whoever does not have them in the near sight blind forget that they have been cleansed from their Past spirit. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and electing. For if you do these things, you will never stumble, and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this time and this moment. As I close and we we'll regather on next Tuesday for Bible study, I pray that this this topic tonight will kind of open up the eyes and ears of so many women of all walks of life touch them god and leading god them and show them the way let this scriptures and this devotion 
give them an understanding who you are calling them to be and what they need to do to get more and more closer than you. Lord, I just give you praise and give you honor and glorify your name and your precious son.